What's good, everybody, and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I'm bringing you yet another collection video. As yesterday, we covered my Seth Rollins Elite Collection, and today, we will be going through my Undertaker Elite Collection. I say Elite because we are not going to cover any basics. I do have quite a few Undertaker basics, but I feel like Elites are the only ones that really deserve the spotlight in these collection videos. So, I'm only going to be going over the Elites, but what I'm going to do is go through each individual one give you a short review of each, tell you what I like and don't like about it, and then we will go until we finish all the takers. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting out first, we have this WrestleMania Heritage Elite Undertaker based off of his WrestleMania debut at WrestleMania 7 when he fought Jimmy Superfly Snuka. At first glance, this figure does look a bit dull, but I mean, what can you really do because this is the exact way he looked on that night. I mean, really, how do you replicate it? It's got to be black and gray. That's just the way it is. I hate that they included this rubber mold jacket because they are really difficult to remove and they're just terrible. They hinder articulation. You can't even move the figure inside these things. But I do like this figure, however, I like the entrance greats figure more because it comes with that tie and the more detailed head scan. If you do a head swap and with that tie, this figure is a lot better. But, you know, what a great way to start off your um, collection with this WrestleMania debut taker. Up next, we have this WrestleMania Heritage Elite Fix-Up Undertaker based off of his late 1992, early 94 look. And I threw the TNF basic Undertaker arms and head scan on there. And I gotta say that this figure looks a lot better than the debut one, in my opinion. I think the head scan is a lot more accurate. I love the hair going down the back of the figure right here. And I just like the details that they included in this head scan. And the tattoos on the arms look really nice. And it's a really good um, representation of, of you know, a early 90s Undertaker. And just the tattoos and the grade look really nice here on the arms. But I dig this Taker a lot and a lot better than the debut one. Up next, we have this Elite 23 or Lost Legends series Undertaker figure, and I gotta say, I like this one a lot more than the last two figures that we've seen here. I dig the purple a lot more than the gray, and I love the tie and accessories it comes with, besides the entrance jacket, of course, but I believe that this purple is a bit too saturated than the actual color it was when he fought Diesel, because I think this is supposed to be based off of WrestleMania 12, but the big issue I have with this figure is in the waist, and I gotta say that this thing is extremely, extremely loose. As you can see, I can and literally just barely flick it and it spins all the way around and that is just ridiculous like come on Mattel I think that is a big problem with this figure I think that everybody's Undertaker does that but I do like this figure besides that problem I think the hat's terrific the head scan is terrific and the attire looks really really great but again the purple is a bit too saturated and the loose waist has got to go up next we have two defining moments Undertaker figures the one on the left is obviously the figure with its entrance coat on and the one on the right is with it off and I gotta say that I think this figure is really really badass I think that the Undertaker looked really really evil during this match and this is obviously based off of his WrestleMania 15 match with Big Boss Man and I think the Undertaker just looks evil in this attire I think all of the detail they put into this is really awesome I hate that it shelf warms so bad but I think that's because people wanted a different defining moments uh, moment for Undertaker but even the detail in the pants right here you can even see the gray and black looks really really awesome the big elbow elbow pads look great and I think that it's a shame that this figure is such a shelf warmer because um, I think it's really underrated and it's just so badass the way Undertaker looked at this moment in his career up next, we have this Elite 27 Undertaker figure based off of his WrestleMania 29 match with CM Punk. This is obviously the last match he would have at WrestleMania before blowing the streak. But Jesus Christ, Mattel, why did you give us this terrible hunk of plastic to pose our Taker in? You know, it just looks absolutely awful. Of course, you have your Undertaker logo on the tights here, which looks terrific. But it is so covered up with this big hunk of plastic that it really just ruins everything about the figure. Not really, but I really just hate this thing. I don't know why they even give us this. Um, I think it's a big waste. I think you could have thrown in anything else, really. I mean, yeah, entrance coats are great, but if they're cloth, they're great. This is just awful. You can't even pose a figure. He literally just sits there, and it's just a big waste of plastic, honestly. If you're just going to sit him there, he's just real stiff and stuff, but Jesus. Mattel, I mean, I like the thorns here on the sleeves and everything. The mold is great, but just this big plastic hunk of piece of garbage has to go. Up next, we have this Elite 8 Undertaker figure based off of his run. In 2011, we get a brand new head scan, and we also have the demonic wing design on the tights here, which I really like. I think it looks really, really awesome. I dig this attire a lot for Undertaker. Um, again, with the entrance vest, I think that's just a trend with the Undertaker figures. I like this one a lot better than the other ones that we get because it is actually easily removable, and it's sleeveless, really, so you can take it off easily. But I dig this figure a lot. I think that the attire they went with and the head scan is okay. 
Um, I've even seen fix-ups where you paint the eyes of this Undertaker, and it looks like he's, you know, doing his signature eye thing. But I think that this coat really feels nice in your hand, and the head scan looks pretty accurate to Undertaker. You know, you paint the eyes of this figure, and you could really do something special with it. But again, I dig the big elbow pad on the left arm, and I think they did a really good job on this figure, especially since it's one of the earlier Undertaker figures that Mattel has made. Up next, we have this Best of Pay-Per-View Build-A-Figure Corporate Kane Elite Undertaker figure based off of his WrestleMania 30 match with Brock Lesnar. Obviously, this is the match where the infamous streak ended. And, of course, they continue the trend with the terrible entrance jackets. This rubber hinders the articulation horribly. But on the right leg here, you have the, uh, the Undertaker logo there in red based off of that attire. And then on the left leg, you have that skull demon with the horns, which looks really cool in red. I dig this attire. I think it looks really nice, really accurate to Undertaker during this match. Um, I really like this figure at first glance. I think it's a really nice Undertaker. I just hate the um, continued trend of the rubber jackets that hinder the articulation so horribly. I hate that the streak had to end, but you know, all good things must come to an end. And of course, he has two losses now to Roman Reigns. But overall, really dig this Undertaker figure. I just hate the rubber jacket. Up next, we have this Fix Up Elite 1 Undertaker Elite that looks a lot better now that I threw this WrestleMania 32 Undertaker figure jacket on there. It's actually cloth, very easily removable, doesn't hinder articulation, and just looks a lot cleaner, makes it look way more authentic. This look is based off of his 2009 run with the, um, the jacket on here, just looks way better. And I think that the attire they chose for this Elite 1 looks really good. You have the Gray Skull Demon with the horns there on the legs. I think it's on both sides. Yeah, it's on both sides, and it just looks really nice. I think this is a really good representation of Undertaker during this time. I like this head scan a lot better than the one that the Elite One came with. And this is the very first Elite figure that Mattel made of Undertaker, besides the head scan, obviously. But I think they did a really good job of Undertaker. I think that he was deserving of having a figure in the very first Mattel Elite Series 1. And last but not least, we have this beautiful Undertaker Elite fix-up based off of his 2004 to around 2006 run. Just look at this head scan. My God, it is the basic 71 head scan on the WrestleMania 32 Elite body. And I gotta say that with this entrance coat and jacket and hat, it just looks amazing. I love the way this Undertaker looks. This is probably my favorite era of Undertaker. I love the attire that he wore during this time. And the way that Mattel nailed this head scan is absolutely phenomenal. Just the expression on his face and the likeness to Undertaker is incredible, and I think that this is the best Undertaker in my collection, my all-time favorite Undertaker in my collection, and I think that's going to be really hard to beat because this is so accurate to Undertaker during that time that it's going to be very, very hard to beat, and I just love figures that are so accurate like to the likeness of the, the wrestler or the um, attire. It's very big. I'm very big on that, so... Just this figure with everything on is just really badass. And if I ever put him in MDT Live or Vindication, he will definitely be rocking this attire. But that is the last Undertaker in my collection. Alright guys, that is going to do it for my entire Undertaker Elite collection. I know I'm missing quite a few. I cannot wait to track all of those down and get them all in this collection. And maybe we can redo this video one day down the road. However, I really enjoy this collection. I dig Undertaker a lot. He's one of my favorites of all time. Probably top 10. And I just really enjoy all of his work. Please leave a like on this video. Comment down below what your favorite Undertaker from this collection is. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.